Welcome to the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity Grantee Training. In this presentation, we will discuss tips for understanding and navigating 2 CFR 200. We will define 2 CFR 200 and its relationship to the Grant Accountability and Transparency Act. We will provide an overview of 2 CFR 200 and review its structure. And we will also go over a few tips on interpreting and navigating the electronic version of 2 CFR 200. CFR stands for Code of Federal Regulations, which is the codification of the general and permanent regulations established by the federal government. Chapter 2, Part 200 of Title 2, Subtitle A of CFR is the set of rules applying to all federal grant awards given to non federal entities such as states, local governments, tribes, and nonprofits. The purpose of 2 CFR 200 is to establish uniform administrative requirements and provide a basis for the systematic and periodic collection and uniform submission of data to the awarding entity. The state of Illinois implemented the Grant Accountability and Transparency Act through the adoption of the federal grant guidance and regulations found in 2 CFR 200, making state and federal grant guidelines synonymous. The adoption of these regulations helps provide a more efficient, transparent, and accountable state grant process. The Grant Accountability and Transparency Act is most commonly referred to as GATA. Since state regulations mirror federal, to help avoid confusion, the words federal and state can be viewed as interchangeable in 2 CFR 200. Federal awarding agency can be read as state awarding agency and federal awards as state awards. This pertains to both state-funded and federal pass-through grants administered by the state of Illinois. 2 CFR 200 is recommended as the go-to reference guide for all general state grant regulation questions. 2 CFR 200 is accessible in electronic form via eCFR. The entire document is available for grantees to reference throughout their grant journey. Each title in 2 CFR 200 is organized hierarchically. A title may be divided into subtitles, chapters, parts, subparts, sections, and appendices. The example shown, taken from the eCFR, demonstrates the hierarchy of Title II, Subtitle A, Chapter 2, Part 200, otherwise known as 2 CFR 200. 2 CFR 200 is broken down into six subparts. Subpart A lists the acronyms and definitions you will come across while reviewing this chapter, making it a useful reference tool. Subpart B defines the purpose of 2 CFR 200. As previously stated, 2 CFR 200 establishes uniform administrative requirements and provides a basis for the orderly and consistent collection and uniform submission of data. Subpart C provides instructions and other pre-award guidelines to be used by awarding agencies in the program planning, announcement, application, and award processes. Subpart D defines post-award requirements such as statutory requirements, performance measures, financial management, payments, revisions, and modifications. Subpart E covers cost principles. This section addresses the obligation of the grantee to have efficient and effective management practices, have the capacity to administer the grant funds as set forth in the grant agreement, and have sound organizational and management techniques to properly administer the award. Grantees are also responsible for following sound and recognized accounting principles, and for applying indirect cost principles with consistency. Subpart F outlines standards to ensure constant and uniform audits of grantees. This includes audit types, audit requirements based on type, frequency and deadline of audits, and audit submission. 2 CFR 200 includes 12 appendices that elaborate on such grant-related topics as contract provisions for non-federal entity contracts under federal awards, public assistance cost allocation plans, and more. Grantees may click on any of these topics to view details. There are several ways to navigate the electronic version of 2 CFR 200. Two of the most common ways are by clicking one of the table of contents options or by using the search box. In utilizing the search box you can enter a citation, 
such as 2 CFR 200.207. This leads you directly to the section on standard application requirements. But what if you don't know the citation you are looking for? Then you can do a full text search, entering terms relevant to your search such as application requirements. You will then need to scroll through the search results, in this case over 200 related items, to find the resource you need. You can explore other word combinations to narrow your search, or you can try navigating by using the table of contents. By clicking on one of the table of contents options while in Chapter 2, Part 200, you will see the hierarchy discussed earlier. For more information, you can click on any blue text. In this example, subpart C was clicked, which expanded to display its sections. The contents of subpart C are now available. As we review the list, we can see that 200.207 covers standard application requirements. Clicking this section, we can review further information about application requirements outlined in 2 CFR 200. Although eCFR offers various search and navigation options, as you have probably noticed, it can be time-consuming and cumbersome if you are not sure of the exact citation needed. For this reason, you may find the quickest and easiest search approach is a basic browser search. By typing 2 CFR 200, the word AND, and a brief description of what you are searching for, in this case application requirements, the browser search results will usually include an option directing you to the correct citation in eCFR. In this example, we see a search result option that will direct us to subpart 207, Standard Application Requirements. 2 CFR 200 is a part of the general regulations set forth by the federal government. Illinois' Grant Accountability and Transparency Act, or GATA, mirrors the regulations found in 2 CFR 200, making them synonymous. The purpose of 2 CFR 200 and GATA is to outline administrative and grant requirements and cost principles for federal and state of Illinois grants. As such, all state grant agreements follow 2 CFR 200. When reading 2 CFR 200 for state and federal pass-through grants, the word federal should be read as state to help avoid confusion. Understanding the hierarchy and search options can greatly improve your navigational success. Contact your grant manager with questions regarding 2 CFR 200 grant regulations. You can learn more about 2 CFR 200, as well as other grant-related topics, by visiting the GAT2 resource page at gata.illinois.gov resources. GAT2 stands for Grant Accountability and Transparency Unit, which is part of the Governor's Office of Management and Budget, also known as GOMBI. You may also visit the Grantee Resource page by scanning the QR code with your mobile device or by visiting dceo.illinois.gov slash dceo-grants. Thank you for watching this presentation on 2 CFR 200. If you have any questions, please contact ceo.granthelp at illinois.gov.